A small New Mexico brewery in a rural part of the state has a big reason to celebrate. Scarlett Liz Jack explains how a prestigious beer competition is helping New Mexico become known for more than just our green chili. Just the lift of the handle and you got yourself a beer. But coming up with the recipe takes a little more creativity. Sometimes uh, we'll have a beer name idea that we just think is clever and we'll kind of, back, kind of backtrack it and try to work it from there. Then factor in a two week brewing process. Once you start the brewery process, you kind of got to like see it through in certain steps and times. But hard work pays off. Three beers that were thought of and brewed here got some recognition. Best of craft beer competition. Uh, it's one of the largest international competitions in the country. Uh, it's held in Bend, Oregon year every year and we walked away with three medals this year. Two gold and one bronze medal. We got a gold medal for our Sky High IPA, a gold medal for our Yuletide Brunch. It was aged uh, for a year in Rittenhouse rye barrels and bourbon maple syrup barrels and then blended together. And the last one, we won a bronze for our Frambois, which is a Belgian uh, mixed culture fruited sour. Some of the biggest awards that Three Rivers have won in its 25 years. Right now in this country, we're up to 9,000 craft breweries. Uh, competitions getting increasingly harder, especially uh, winning a gold medal with an IPA in an international competition is considered to be one of the hardest medals to win in the country. And the hope is that this big score will put the four corners on the map for those that geek out on beer. For us to take them a gold medal going up against some of the best IPA producers in one of the best regions in the country is kind of a, that's the, the, the best one. We're not a big brewery, you don't distribute, we're all in house. so. Hopefully it does bring a little bit more eyeballs to us. Scarlett Liz Jack, KUB4.